when it comes to engines trucks seem to last forever while cars wear out quicker ever wondered why let's find out first off there's power density many diesel engines are upwards of 12 liters while many of us have 1.5 or 2 liter engine cars many of those large diesel trucks only make 250 horsepower with lots of torque of course while many of our cars have about 150 horsepower with less torque some quick maths shows that our cars are creating a whole lot more horsepower per liter of displacement which means that our little car engines are working harder and wear out faster while the big diesel truck engines operate comfortably engine speed think about how fast the engine parts move in a car and a truck the faster they go the quicker they wear out cars often rev up high especially on highways which wears out the engine faster but trucks they're designed differently most truck engines are built to produce lots of power without spinning too fast that means they don't wear out as quickly as car engines do as piston speed increases linearly cylinder wear increases exponentially this essentially implies that the faster the engine spins the quicker it wears out petrol engines typically rev over 2000 rpm while cruising on the highways on the other hand many diesel engines don't even reach that market full throttle they are engineered to generate substantial torque at lower engine speeds consequently the wear on the rings and cylinders occurs at a much slower rate compared to gasoline engines size difference when compared to the weight and size of car engines truck engines are 6 times larger and whereas your average car engine has up to 200 feet per pound of torque and 200 horsepower an average semi truck has up to over 2000 feet per pound of torque and 600 horsepower car engines on average can commonly hang in there for 200000 miles but truck engines are made with a far different design in mind before a rebuild or an overhaul it is not uncommon to see 1 million miles on a semi truck engine cold start highway diesel engines run for hundreds of kilometers per day petrol engines that are started once a day and driven 400 kilometers and then shut down will last quite a bit longer than the engines that you and I have in our daily commuter cars the engine is started and warmed up once a day and then run all day long most of us drive only for a few miles to and from work our cars are started cold driven a short distance and then shut down heat cycles create extra wear as parts expand and contract during these times highway diesels are subject to less of these conditions plus they run cooler which slows down the rate of expansion and contraction most of the wear and tear on engines and particularly vehicles as a whole is due to stop and go traffic the repetition of braking idling and then accelerating then braking again puts more strain on the engine because inertia will make moving the car harder from stopped the life of a semi truck is mostly spent on the highway at a single speed and maintaining a pretty constant rpm Trucks are driven for more than 10 hours a day with 90% of it being on the highway in their highest gear. This doesn't actually put a lot of strain on the vehicle. The truck can potentially only accelerate from stopped once a day and then carry this momentum from that point on until it turns out of fuel. This puts way less strain on the engine. Preventive maintenance. Diesel trucks are designed specifically to be repaired and rebuilt often. The cylinders are lined so you don't have to change the entire engine just for six liners. as well as the pistons connecting rods and bearings in addition to your typical wear parts like injectors in the end you basically have a new engine without completely switching it and finally there's the economic factor it's cheaper to keep repairing the truck and running it longer than buying a new one let's compare buying a car for $35000 to purchasing a truck for $250000 If the car's engine doesn't break down in the first 60,000 miles, it's likely to keep going for another 150,000 miles with proper maintenance. But along the way, you'll need to replace parts like the head gasket, clutch, bearings and water pump. These repairs add up and eventually rust might become an issue too. At some point, fixing everything becomes too expensive. On the other hand, if you've invested $250,000 in a truck, A $5000 repair bill doesn't seem too bad when compared to buying a new one. Trucks are built to handle heavy use and can be worth repairing even if it costs a bit. At the end of the day, a lot of the wear and tear on an engine happens as it's starting up and the oil hasn't warmed up and spread around. Most cars are used for relatively short trips, so they spend a lot of time driving around before they're sufficiently warmed up. Long haul trucks are usually driven hundreds of kilometers at a time, so they spend most of their time nicely warmed up. and don't need to accelerate and decelerate as often 
and in your car should be able to make it to at least 2 to 3 lakh kilometers if it's driven gently and maintained regularly but very few cars are maintained properly or given time to warm up before driving Fresh charcoal?